let me ask you a question this morning. If you live in Ontario and you wish to learn to drive a car, what would you need? Obviously, you will need to apply for a learner's driver's license. Now, to get this G1 license, you will need to be at least 16 years old. And you will need to pass an eye test and you need to pass a knowledge test about the rules of the roads and all the different traffic signs. Now look at all the traffic signs. There are over 800 signs plus a few hundred rules of the road. So you really need to study for the knowledge test. Now this morning, I'm going to use a few road signs to help me demonstrate today's Bible's lessons. Let's see how many of these signs you can remember. Today's Bible lesson is taken from John, the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 1 to 14. Now these were Jesus' parting words for his disciples when they were having the Last Supper together. Jesus knew that the day of his crucifixion was coming and that he would soon return to his fathers in heaven. So he was trying to prepare his disciples for the time when he would no longer be with them. Now Jesus loved his disciple very much, and he used these last few hours with him to continue to encourage and comfort them, and to also provide them last minute instructions. So in John chapter 14, starting from verse 1, Jesus said to his disciples, Don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. Now, when you're worried and upset and troubled, you feel very confused, like you're being pulled from different directions and it seems like your world is kind of falling apart. So the first thing Jesus said to his disciples is, don't worry, trust God. Then Jesus said, I am going to go and prepare a place for all of you. And there is more than enough room in my father's house. Jesus meant that he, when he goes to heaven, he is going there to prepare a place for all of us to be with him. To, to eternity. So Jesus basically means that he is just going ahead to prepare the, the place for us to join him. And then Jesus promised when everything is ready, he will come back and get us so that we can come live with him. Jesus said, when things are ready, when the room is ready, I will come back and get you. This is what he told his disciples. Jesus said, I have already showed you and you know the way where to where I'm going. So for the three years that he spent with his disciples, he's been teaching them and telling him them about the kingdom of heaven. He want to show them the way to heaven and he demonstrated himself as well. Then one of Jesus disciples, Thomas said, no, 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 Lord, we don't. We don't know. We have no idea where you're going. So how can we know the way? Now, Thomas must be a little bit scared. Then Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. After that, Philip, another disciple of Jesus, spoke up. He said, Lord, show us the Father and we will know and we will be satisfied. But Jesus replied, don't you know me, Philip? I have been with you for such a long time. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father? And don't you believe that the Father is in me? Then Jesus told his disciples, you just need to believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me, and that will work. 
Jesus wanted his disciples to know that he and the Father were together as one. And then if they can put their trust in God and in him, they would one day join him in heaven. Now, sometimes our life can be very confusing and we don't know where to turn, what to do or what path to take. We're not even sure if the decision we make is right. Other times, it seems like our life has no way out. We're stuck in a situation that there's, there's no way to go. And it seems like every path and every turn we make leads to a dead end. Now, you see this dot that represent our life now. Often we are allowed our hearts to be greatly disturbed and troubled by things that happens in our life. But when compare these tiny dot of life with eternal life that God has prepared for us, this is such a small amount of time. So God want us to focus on the eternity in heaven that will continue on and on and on forever and ever. Not like the tiny dot, but like the arrow pointing up. Jesus did not leave us wondering without any instructions or directions. He has made it very clear. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. So we should keep our eyes on Jesus and follow his teaching. Then you will find the path to eternal life in heaven with him. Remember the arrow pointing up that will go on forever and ever. Let us bow our head and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love and sacrifice. Thank you for showing us the way. Please help us to keep our eyes on you and not be distracted by the things in this world. Help us to follow you and trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.